All right, we have more on the explosive report from the Hills John Solomon and Circus Sarah Carter that says the FBI now has proof Russian nuclear officials kicked back millions of dollars that benefited the Clinton Foundation prior to the Obama administration's approval of the Uranium One deal. And they knew about bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering. We also have understood tonight. Judicial Watch has found that 2,800 government documents from Uma Abedin were found on Anthony Weiner's laptop, and they might have been classified. Here with the reaction, someone who wrote extensively about corruption surrounding the Clintons, the president of the Government Accountability Institute, author of Clinton Cash. He first discovered the Uranium One story, and also he's also written extensively about it. Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. All right, we got to start with you, Mr. Schweitzer. You broke. This thing. What do you make of the new developments tonight? They all knew, and they still approve the yeah, deal. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's huge, Sean. And 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 kudos go out to these reporters uh, for really doggedly going after the story. And by the way, we also need to hip, tip our hat to you because you've been talking about this for a couple of years when a lot of other people have forgotten about it. Um, this is a massive scandal. It's still shocking to me that there has not been a congressional hearing. Uh, there's been no investigation uh, when it's warranted. And my hope is that this new reporting is not only going to get Senator Grassley tomorrow to raise these various serious questions with the Attorney General, but we will actually get an investigation of this by people, whether it's a grand jury, a congressional committee, that has subpoena power. It warrants that kind of activity. Greg, you wrote about this a year ago. I mean, you got excoriated for what you wrote a year ago. I did. Well, I accused her of potential racketeering, which is using a business as a corrupt criminal enterprise. In this case, her business was a charity, but it was a dual purpose, it appears, because these FBI documents gathered beginning in 2009 um, seem to show that the Russians were funneling tens of millions of dollars to that charity. You know and what those I suspect? are illegal monies, which makes it a criminal enterprise. So we had Russian operatives in this country. Our department, of, Eric Holder, knew about it. Right. They knew about bribery kickbacks, extortion, money, money laundering. laundering. But money laundering tells me that here's something I'm going to go out. I wonder if all the money that was donated was washed through Latvia, as they had in one of the reports today, and sent to the Clinton Foundation. I wonder if the money came from Russia. Could have been. It could, could have, have been, right? It, it apparently came from more than a half a dozen sources. But connected. money did benefit the Bill and Hillary Clinton Foundation. That we and know Bill tonight. Bill Clinton personally was receiving money from the Russian nuclear industry connected to uh, this Uranium One deal. And what really I think is making Congress angry is that Eric Holder, who sits on the committee that approved this deal. With Hillary, also Hillary approved Hillary presides it. over it. They voted unanimously. He knew about this when the vote took place. And guess who else knew about it, who was supervising all of this? Robert Mueller, who was FBI director, and Rod Rosenstein, who was then U.S. attorney. They were supervisors on this investigation. Wait a minute. And how they, could they sat be, on it. How, so if they knew that real Russian influence collusion is happening, Right. And they did nothing. How could they now sit in judgment the way they are in this case? It seems to me they've all got to be cleared. They've all got to be fired or they have to resign. Immediately. I mean, it totally compromises their integrity. I don't see any other way out. You know, when you wrote about this, Peter, um, and I remember we did a lot on Clinton Cash. Did you know this much and did, weren't able to quite put all the pieces together that just now make more sense to you based on your early reporting? It does. Um, we really, in the book, focused on Hillary's role. And we knew that Hillary in 2009 knew because there were WikiLeaks State Department cables that proved that she was told in those top secret memos the Russians were trying to corner the world uranium market. So she knew about that um, and, and apparently didn't care. We also pointed out that a lot of these donations, remember, that came to the Clinton Foundation, their signed agreement with President Obama was that they would disclose those donations. As, as of course we wow. revealed these donations a lot of cases were not disclosed they were hidden and now the question becomes why were they hidden and I think these new revelations indicate part of the reason and we're talking they didn't up to, want this stuff to come to light up to 145 million 
It was 145 million, and think about this, Sean, nine shareholders in Uranium One, nine, all decided spontaneously to donate to the Clinton Foundation. I don't believe it. Uh, and a lot of this money, yeah, no, and a lot of this money was flowing months, just months, before that crucial CFIUS wow. vote to approve this deal. All it's, right, it's, it's, legally, it's really shocking. And Yeah, go ahead, last word. Now, the last word is, and then keep in mind, as the New York Times has reported, Uranium One, now owned by Rosatom, is actually exporting yellow cake from the United States. Part of the agreement for the Russians taking over this company was the uranium <laughs> had to stay in this company. It's being exported out of the United States, and we don't really know where it's ending up. Who should be investigating this as of tonight, based on what we learned? Well, it cannot be Jeff Sessions because you remember he recused, his, himself. He recused himself from anything Can't be related to Hillary either. Clinton. It cannot now be Rosenstein because he hid this information so who's next? when he knew it. Uh, whoever's third, third in, in the line Justice Department. or fourth in line can be appointed uh, by either Sessions or Rosenstein. Do you think that, that Mueller now has to go and Rosenstein has to go? I do. Uh, I mean, hiding this information, not disclosing it to Congress, when they had a legal oblig obligation to do so, uh, seems to me to be unconscionable, and they have no more integrity associated now with their Trump collusion. Now case. that we know bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering, I want to know where the money really came from that went to the Clinton Foundation. I want to know where that money came from. Was it funneled through Latvia? Was it funneled through any of these groups? Who gave the money? Where'd the original money come from? 145 million is a lot of money. And it was, who benefited? It was Putin and Russia. Well, that's the question. The WikiLeaks documents show she was peddling access. And yeah. now today we've learned it looks like she was peddling influence. At the risk of American security. Absolutely. All right. Thank you both. We will continue all week on this. When we come back, huge developments today as the Harvey Weinstein scandal gets worse. Now, you won't believe which Hollywood executive is now being accused of harassment and which actors. Straight ahead.